All right, guys. So this one is pretty important video. I, a lot of people have made videos about Renown and altars and all that kind of stuff, but I just wanted to go with my process. I think it's super efficient, super fast, and a really good way to get your Renown points. Most specifically right now, um, let's talk about the altars as well as you know waypoints and Fog of War Renown. So for example, we have the areas discovered, which I'm calling Fog of War. And then we have our waypoints, which are pretty easy to get. We also have strongholds, uh, altars of Lilith, side dungeons, and side quests. So uh, pretty much you will have to complete those things to get these unlocks. And essentially you're going to need to get a total renown of 2000 points by doing a variety of these. Uh, a lot of people try to avoid the side quests just because it's a lot of running around and stuff and might take long. Some side quests are super quick. I haven't gone over the exact details of which side quests to do and all that stuff, but we're not going to talk about the side quests right now. They're pretty self-explanatory and easy to do. Just go, go talk to those blue question marks on the map and get into those side quests. So first I wanted to start with the Altars of Lilith. This is something that I like to do. So essentially for Renown, I would say to wait until approximately level 50, you need to be done the campaign because there's no point in doing that without this horsey guy. All right, this horse is clutch. You definitely need that if you're gonna go for Altars of Lilith, otherwise you're gonna waste a ton of time. So just go ahead, finish the whole campaign, I would say, and then go for the Altars of Lilith. Uh, the Altars of Lilith are really key to have earlier on in the gameplay because that they give you bonuses, right? Each altar will give you either two strength, dexterity, intel, willpower, as well as some other things like max obols and paragon points. So once you're level 50, those paragon points will actually be applied to your account as well. So you will be stronger. So this will make your character stronger and you'll also get skill points from unlocking um, certain things. So as you can see here, there are five tiers. So one, two, three, four, five. The first and the third will give you a skill point. So that is how you get the total 58 skill points um, in your skill tree. At level 50, you unlock all the ones you can from leveling. Then you need to get two from each region um, as you can see here for Fractured Peaks, I have the two, Gosman, I have two. So I need to keep working on it, but I just wanted to go over my process for doing this. I start off with the Altars of Lilith. Not only will that help you clear the areas discovered, it'll also help you get the rest of the waypoints and strongholds because some altars are stuck behind strongholds and it kind of gets you there and you can just blast through those strongholds as fast as you can, get them done. You'll also get 100 points from each stronghold. So this is obviously, um, you know, not my first character. If this was your first character, you would open up a lot from the campaign. Um, I finished level 100 hardcore and obviously I have my full renown on that but I hopped on my softcore character and I made a rogue. I actually made a rogue specifically for this because rogues are the fastest uh, characters. They have a ton of mobility. You know, look at that. They have a built-in evade. They have shadow step which also cuts through an enemy and gains distance. It can actually go over walls and stuff. So uh, generally this is the most mobile class in the game besides obviously having a teleport with a sorcerer but the teleport has a cooldown as well. So. This is actually the fastest build, fastest moving speed, and you can blast through dungeons really quickly as well. So this is the reason why I started with Rogue on Softcore, so that I can go ahead and uh, blast through the Renown as well. Because even in Seasonal, the Waypoints, Fog of War, and Altars of Lilith will stay with you. So once you unlock all of that, you're not going to have to worry about it again. So just get it done once in the you know Eternal Realm for Softcore and Hardcore if you're playing Hardcore and then you're done with it you don't have to worry about it so that's why i'm just focusing on it now to get it done with as you can see here we have fractured peaks pretty much done and we have scotland pretty much done as you can see the bottom half of my map is empty we are going in order of act and we are just popping off on all the altars of lilith as you can see here i got most of the map discovered as well there are some patches here and there which i'll probably just worry about later i can probably get those points a lot quicker just by doing the dungeons and side quests and um you know eventually i'll pick those guys up whenever i need to but the 2000 should be pretty easy uh, without having to go and perfect the map, but it'll happen eventually. So for my example now, we'll start with dry steps because that's where I'm currently at. We only have seven of the 33 altars. So we're actually using two different maps. Um, this one someone created to kind of help direct you into the order of uh, altars of Lilith, and especially for each region. Now this may or may not be the most efficient way to get them all because sometimes when you're close, say you are over here, um, you know, doing the Skoslin one, and then this one here for dry steps is just right there not too far from you. So, you know, you can obviously take a look on the interactive map while you're doing it and see that this is close. Maybe I'll go and run and get that. I'm using that to kind of just help me go in order, just do a cycle around the map, make sure I get all the altars in one sitting and one go. I finished the first two in maybe about an hour. Uh, so pretty quick and we're gonna be continuing with this. I also suggest level 50 because once you're in the later acts, like four and five, the level of the monsters are gonna be a lot higher, uh, up to 45. Um, base level so if you're lower you might get hit pretty hard and it might be tougher to do so 50 is a lot easier uh, so this is one of them but obviously the interactive map is way more efficient so this one is the uh, default planner map this one's really good this is what i used the first time around and you can see here on the left we have altars of lilith 
and waypoints and strongholds and everything. So, so on the left here, all we are going to do is click hide all and then we're going to click on waypoints and altars of Lilith. That way it's going to help us kind of see where we are. We might also want to pick up strongholds just to kind of understand how the map looks. And then we're going to look at the specific um, areas that we want to do. So I'm done Fractured Peaks in Scotland for now. So I'm going to close those up. And as you can see here, uh, now we have the specific altars that we're looking for. And I know I picked up these, so I'm going to check those off. Going between the game and the interactive map, we're going to see where they are on the map. Come to the game and put a waypoint down. So from the map, I can see that there is a waypoint right here, which is right here. So we are going to go grab that. Once we get that, we're going to click found and then we're going to continue to the next one. All right, we're going to come to the game oh, and not mess up, hopefully. And, you know, I have my extra evades. I have my movement, got my horse, hop on the mount, just go right to it. We don't need to waste time. We want to just get these altars done as soon as possible. Help us get into that end game uh, point. I did the same thing in hardcore even, you know, you just have to be aware of uh, your surroundings. Make sure you don't get killed. Kill some stuff if you want while you're there. Uh, on the map, it's showing right here. There we go. Pick that up. And we're going to continue that. So that's found. And, you know, you can always reference your game map uh, to see what you have on the uh, interactive map. And at that point, you know, just check it off on your interactive map and go ahead and continue. So I know I need to go to the Onyx Watchtower, which is right here. That's actually a stronghold, as uh, you'll be able to see from the interactive map. So we're going to have to do that stronghold. Uh, you know, you can group up with some other people to help you with it, but it's not too hard. And, you know, you can get that done and keep going. But having that mobility is just super clutch. Uh, and like here is Shadow Step. You can just boom, jump over, cut through, go on the horse, do what you got to do. If you see you have to do one of these agility events like stairs or whatever, then you know you're going to have to get off the horse. And that might be a few seconds. So then you can pop your, your skills for movement. Uh, by that nine seconds it runs out, then you can pop with the horse and keep going. So that is the quickest way to kind of move around the map. Uh, Rogue's the fastest, but obviously play whatever you're playing. And that will definitely help you get your renown. While you're doing this, you're probably going to come to some areas. And in the map, you're going to see where that waypoint is. Um, you also can see it on the interactive map. So if you know you're in that area, just go ahead and run to it. That'll also give you waypoints so you can teleport as well as giving you another 20 renown. So very helpful, very clutch. And then we're going to go focus on everywhere we got to go. So I know I got to come down here now uh, because I just ran up here for the waypoint. So I'm going to teleport to the closest area, run to that, get those altars and carry on with my route. That interactive map is very clutch, very helpful. And it's definitely a must to get uh, all of the altars of Lilith. Next up, you're going to see all of these side quests. So you can go ahead, just talk to them when you're in town. Usually gets to start it. There is a limit of around 20 side quests. So you're not able to actually talk to everyone and just prep up for side quests. But a lot of the times you're able to start a quest and you typically go to an area where you need to be for that side quest eventually. So it, all these blue things are points of interest for quests. In this case, they're just monsters to kill to get uh, you know, a certain item from here. Uh, next up is side dungeons. So this is something you can actually split with other people. Uh, a lot of people do it in World Tier 1, four people in the party, and then they split up and do uh, every dungeon. You don't have to be in the same dungeon to get the completion for it. So if four people are completing dungeons at the same speed, you will be able to get four dungeons in the same time uh, as you would be doing one dungeon on yourself. So that's a good way to do it. I'm not sure if Blizzard intends to change that or not, but so far it's so good. Uh, definitely the best way to get the side dungeon renown, and you get a lot, 30 points right there. So you can actually finish up with the side dungeon renown if you'd like. This one's 630 uh renown just for that and then side quests you'll have to do for the rest but uh yeah i hope that helps that is the way i do it if you've done it in hardcore or softcore and want to do it in the other pick a fast character if you want to make it a little quicker but uh you know as long as you got the mount you'll be able to get it done so thanks for watching i hope this helps let me know if you have any questions if you need any help feel free to drop a question in the comment section below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out mm -hmm.